synchronous reluctance motor, is a type of electric motor, that induces non-permanent magnetic poles on the ferromagnetic rotor. The rotor does not have any windings. Torque is generated through the phenomenon of magnetic reluctance. Now, we will show you how the motor is constructed. These are the items required to construct the motor. The first one is stator. The second one is rotor, the rotating part. The next one are front and rear end bell. They act as the closure of the motor. Wing head screws are used, to tie stator and bell. Next is pulley, which is tied on the rotor. Next, a belt which is used to link two, rotating shafts. A faceplate is used as a guide, for the connection between source and motor. And the last one, is wire connector, to connect the source and motor. In this experiment, we are using a machine training system, called as dissectable machine, which is manufactured by LabVolt. This system has various functions and modes, to support a lot of motor operations such as DC motor, AC motor, induction motor and others. It has a knob to adjust the voltage, and LCD screen to display the parameters. This is the process of constructing the synchronous reluctance motor. First step, insert the rotor into the stator. Then, take the front end bell and insert into one of the stator side. The front and rear side has similar looks. So, there is no problem if the end bell is reversed. Insert the rear end bell at the other side of the stator. Then, use a hammer to knock the end bell. So that the end bells are installed tightly to the stator. Do not over knocking the end bell, otherwise it can be damaged. Make sure to use the hammer carefully, to avoid any injuries or accident. Take the wing head screws, and screws the end bell through the holes, at the end bells. Align the end bell holes and the stator screw holes. So that, the screw can be inserted perfectly. Otherwise, it takes time to tighten the screws. There are four wing head screws to be tightened. Make sure the screws are tightened tightly, to prevent the screws from loosening while the motor is running. Tighten the screw moderately, so that it can be removed easily at the end of the experiment. Take a pulley and insert through the rotor. Make sure the pulley is fitted to the latch at the rotor shaft. The latch is to lock the position of the pulley. Now, we will show you the motor installation. First of all, pull out the support module from the dissectable machine. This module is used to place, support and tie the motor to stay static during running. Please be careful, because the support module is heavy and make sure to work with partner. Place the motor on the support module and center the position. Then, tighten both left and right screw onto the motor base plate to lock the position of motor. Make sure the screws are tightened wisely. Take the wire connector from the stator and plug it into the polarized female connector, at the left side of the module. After that, place back the support module into the dissectable machine. Be careful with your fingers while inserting the module. Lock the panel using the knob at the top of the panel. 
The next step is to install the belt. Open both load panel, middle panel, and support module panels to install the belt. Place the belt between two pulleys, one from the load and the other one is from the motor. While installing the belt, please be careful not to hurt or damage the belt because it can interrupt the performance of the motor. Try to rotate the shaft to check the smoothness of the belt. Close and lock the panels by using the knobs at the top. Install the faceplate for synchronous reluctance motor, and tighten both left and right screws. Don't forget to place the metal bar, to lock the panels from being opened accidentally, while the motor is running. This is how we do the connection for synchronous reluctance motor. There are three wires represent red, yellow and blue phase. Red wire goes to terminal 4, yellow wire goes to terminal 5 and blue wire goes to terminal 6. The same goes for the motor connection. Connect the wires at the left side of the panel, that have inductor symbols, at terminals 1, 2 and 3. Then, short the connection for terminals 4, 5 and 6. Make sure the connections are correct. Now, let's see how to start the motor. Turn on the switch of the dissectable machine at the left bottom and switch on the circuit breaker at the left top of the panel. Make sure the knob is close to zero. The screen displays the required parameters of the motor. The function can be switched by pressing the function button. Ok, now we go to the motor running test. First, choose suitable function to observe the behavior of the motor. Then, use the command knob to control the parameters displayed on the screen. Different function will control different parameter. Study each function that is in the dissectable machine and relate to the motor used for the experiment. The results of this experiment will be discussed in the analysis section on the next chapter. For now, let's watch how the motor runs. For test 1, we are studying the speed torque characteristics of synchronous reluctance motor. The motor is run at full load, which means that there is load connected to the motor. The function set is CWCS prime mover, brake. From the table, we can see that the torque decreases when the speed increases. It does satisfy the speed torque curve for synchronous reluctance motor. Now, we go for test 2. We are studying the voltage speed characteristics of synchronous reluctance motor. The motor is run at full load, which is the same as test 1. The function set is 2 QCT brake. From the table, we can see when the voltage is increased, the speed of motor will also increase. The speed will increase only up to 1500 revolutions per minute because it has reached synchronous speed.